No, no, it's not word level. The word level is on paper. It's an institutional structure of the party on paper. I will tell you something. Uh, I just came in and uh, my mentor, uh, Professor, Professor Jaga was discussing the fault lines, the challenges of our democracy. And I listened. The issue here is simple, that the political parties are formed and unfortunately on a democratic system with a very clear constitution. But when people take position of authority, either in the party or in the government, we default back to our traditional emirate system or kingship. And I will explain what I mean. That individuals that win election don't seem to believe that they will be subjected to the judgment of the people in the next election. What they do is basically organize a process of dictating the outcome of things right from the world level. And because there is economic challenges, which Professor Jega has highlighted, there is the tendency of people to just wait for instruction. There is a tendency of people to just belong to this ruling power. There is a tendency of people to hope that the resources will reach them if they behave well. So when leaders, especially at state level, like governors, for example, or at national level, like the leaders of the party, give instructions, you have no right to challenge those instructions. It's not democracy. Nobody can say no to that. If you do, believe me, in a matter of 48 hours, you are out. You'll be disgraced, you'll be denied, and in fact, you'll be economically starved. So the world level is not at all institutionally strong. Neither is the local government. So just like we're suffering from autonomy of local government in governance, there's even worse lack of autonomy of local government and world in our political structure. Our democracy is collapsing before our own very eyes. We are replacing it with an emirate system where you meet in the north particularly, you see political leaders sitting on a chair and everyone is sitting on the floor gallivanting around these leaders as if they are worshipping them. This is not democracy. Democracy was not created to enslave people. It is created to empower people and liberate them and give them the freedom and respect that they deserve as citizens. Now, you have talked about this word structure. Honestly speaking, I go to my word and I ask the chairman, what is your plan? And he said, I'm waiting for instruction from the local government. And the local government chairman, I said, what do you do? Oh, he said, well, the governor is going to call us and tell us what to do. I am telling you, the internal democracy of our party is not working as it should. There are fault lines, like Professor Ch uh, Jagar said, and the challenges are enormous. However, there is a ray of hope. Believe me, I have always said this, that at some point you cannot hold this together. Unless we recognize that democracy is for the people and is by the people and it's meant to serve the people, then definitely we will definitely lose the focus of how the democracy was built and how people can come into power. And if we do that, then we will lose the authority that is bested on people when they are constitutionally elected into party or into office.